Hello everybody, this is Katie Zero RVY and uh, we are back here with a third installment of our uh, directional antenna here and uh, even though uh, when I started making uh, the videos for these uh, you know I wasn't even aware that there for sure would be a, uh, a third video but here we are so um, this is pretty exciting um, I do have a a new uh, addition to this antenna which is this uh, what I did was I, I went and got a airsoft um, this is a, a grip uh, from an M4A1 airsoft gun uh, not your cheap plastic ones um, or at least not the transparent plastic ones you'd get at Walmart but an actual good quality one however uh, you probably could use uh, pretty much anything so uh, you know, this is where you get the opportunity to be creative, to, you know, use what you have at your uh, disposal uh, and come up with, with something that works for you. So, um, you're probably wondering why the intent or why the, the handle is installed like this. Uh, that's because I actually uh, came up with a hinging system on how to make this work. Um, that includes this piece here. Uh, which I did make and then this piece right here which I will try and take out um, during the actual uh, creation of this and trying to piece all this stuff together uh, the other thing that was kind of my my goal was to have at least for sure this hinge here be installed uh, as tight as possible um, so that I could still get it in and out but have it be in there just tight enough uh, that I don't have to worry about it falling out so this is the handle itself uh, as you can see what I did was I drilled a series of holes uh, so I'll put this like this so you can see it the right way I drilled a series of holes, um, as you can see, one, one set here on these two, one set here, and one set here, and of course, you know, on the, the other side doing the same thing. So this hole here is where I just took that pin out of. This is going to be our, our hinging point. So as you can see, uh, when the handle's down, you know, it'll be like this, when it's up, There'll be a pin in here, which is where I first just took out this one here. Um, and then uh, when we have it down, then the, this pin here will actually get replaced back into this hole to hold it in place. So now you can see how that's working. I'll actually show you once I get the handle on the antenna here to show you that. Uh, the big part of this, of using a handle like this, was there was some fab work that I had to do. So what I ended up using was this here. Um, this is plastic welder or epoxy, you know, whatever. Um, you know, use whatever you want to use uh, to do this. Um, I wouldn't go Bondo, but definitely use, use some kind of epoxy, uh, whatever you like to use for that. And I will have some pictures uh, posted up right at the end of the video so you can actually see uh, kind of the process a little bit. but. Uh, what I ended up having to do was uh, fill in, uh, these walls are not typically this thick, uh, they're probably about half. So this half here and this half here is epoxy. Uh, so these inner walls here, that's all epoxy. There's a very, very thin layer, you can actually see where it's a little bit flaky there because I actually sanded down um, all the way down to the plastic bottom that I put here as a kind of a floor. Um, so this is epoxy here in addition to this here and also the same thing over here. This half over here is epoxy and this half over here is epoxy. Um, so there was a lot of work that went into to this and you know I wanted to uh, create a handle that could be down when in use and up 
uh, went out and use. And so to do this design like this uh, works out real slick. And my next obstacle is to figure out how to attach it. And finally when it hit me, uh, it was kind of a no-brainer. So um, this works pretty slick. So I'll go ahead and show you. I'll get the, um, if I can put this on right. I'll get this pin back in here. It can be kind of a challenge to to get this in, but you know when you when you think about it, I would much rather it uh, take a little bit of time to get the pin in uh, than for it to have uh, the the possibility of just falling out anytime it wants. So. Uh, you know, once it's in there, it's it's in there pretty good unless I forcefully, or at least with some force, uh, take it out. But it's not that it's necessarily difficult uh, to put in, even though there is some lining up with the holes and stuff you have to do. Uh, I would say, though, that it's, it's uh, just tighter to put in. Give it a couple taps, and there you go. So now we have our hinged handle. You know, and can freely go, uh, you know, both ways. So that's that's kind of the idea there. So uh, you know, I, I started calling this, um, at least to myself, anyways, and and to my wife when I was trying to show her this. And believe it or not, she even thought this was kind of cool. So um, I was calling it the five-second handle. You know, other than actually getting that pin in, uh, it only takes about five seconds to. Uh, to open it and, and switch the pin. And the nice thing is, I'm gonna take this out really quick just to show you. The idea on why I kind of went with this shape was this distance here, I'm gonna use my little pointing stick here. The distance between this and this is obviously shorter than the distance between, you know, where this side is and this side. So I use this side of the pin when the handle is closed and then I use this side of the pin when the handle is in use and open. So as you can see, when I install it, just plops in. Uh, and the other nice thing, you know, it goes all the way through. The other nice thing is that when I want to take it out, I just flip this up and it gives me the leverage I need. And again, this, this here isn't that tight but it does give me the leverage I need to just pull it out. And then I simply pop this, and you can you can put this on, on either side. Um, I'm right-handed, I don't know if that plays any part in this, but I always seem to be, you know, putting it on this side. And then push it in, there you go. Uh, and then you can, you know, rotate this however you want. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's a way, uh, I haven't done it yet, and I, I suppose I could have before I made the video, of using this as a uh, cable holder to take the strain off of you know this end of the cable uh, I, I don't know if, if that's what I'll do or not or if I'll just let it hang off the back or, or, or what so uh, it was just something that kind of popped into my head uh, a while back and I haven't actually tested that so I'll go ahead I'm gonna close this one more time I know this seems repetitive and we're gonna test out this five second theory so We'll go ahead and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll let uh, you guys count or we'll figure it out on the YouTube uh, timer. Um, I'll count to myself uh, quietly and see if this takes five seconds here. I think I did test it once. And, um, you know, of, of course, since I'm timing it, <laughs> uh, I was having a couple hang-ups on putting the pin back in. So we'll see how this works. Uh, we'll start the time as soon as the pin gets taken out here. Okay, so that was perfect. Um, that actually was five seconds, and that's even counting the pin being dropped. Of course, if you're out in the field and you drop it, uh, it might take a little bit longer, but um, you know, you can see how this is, this is a really solid handle. There's actually, there's no wiggle to this at all, uh, which is really cool. Um, and that's even both ways. That's even this way here. Uh, when I put the pin in here, uh, you know, there's no wiggle. I mean, this thing is, it's in there good. Um, 
The other uh, thing I want to note too is if you do end up using this handle or even this kind of uh, hinging system, here's the material I use. I don't know the thickness of this. Uh, I don't think that's important, uh, but most of us know this as uh, coat hanger wire. So that's all I did. I just took one of the many coat hangers we have around the house, sacrificed it for a good purpose, because um, who needs you know to hang coats or anything or shirts. Um, so I sacrificed one to make this and to make this. And that's, uh, that's what we got there. When this was kind of in, in prototype, I was using my piano wire or music wire still. Um, this stuff here, the .025 stuff, uh, if I remember correctly, I think that's what that was, um, to make these. Because again, this was kind of prototype. This was an idea. This was try to see what works, what doesn't work. Um, it just so happened that when I made my holes for this, these were in there kind of loose, and so naturally, um, I didn't know what to think about it, and then I decided, you know, I'm gonna try some thicker wire and, and, and just see if that makes any improvements, and so that's where the, the coat hanger came in. Tried it out, the holes were nice and tight, everything stuck in nice and tight, it was really sturdy. Uh, I wasn't going anywhere, I was completely happy and sold, and so there was no reason for me to move on looking for anything else. So. Uh, you know, we kind of went from these, they, they almost even look like ancient tools or something, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we went from these, and uh, there's three of them here, but, um, yeah, we went from those, we went to these, uh, in our final stage, and that's where we're at now, and that's where I plan on staying, everything's working, so no need to mess with it, but I figured, you know what, because uh, the whole point of these videos are to try to motivate and inspire uh, in addition to share uh, what I'm doing with uh, the other you know the others of you who are viewing this and, and watching these videos uh, and just getting started uh, you know to you know to, to, to be creative and, and come up with whatever way if you end up designing this antenna and you want a handle on it this is just one way uh, that I came up with. I'm sure there's thousands of different ways I have not seen. Um, I should say uh, a home build antenna like this incorporate a handle like this either. So I mean this is almost you know from from ground up is almost a, a MacGyver antenna you know other than um, you know your your connector here but for all the other parts it's just kind of using what you have and, and being creative with it and coming up with with an antenna that works. Um, I did test this out even uh, last week. I uh, just pointed it in the general direction uh, that I kind of figured uh, the, the closest tower was that I used for uh, storm uh, spotting. And the, the repeater replied back. Unfortunately, there wasn't anybody on to confirm it, uh, you know, to, to say that they were able to hear me. But as far as being able to reach the repeater, everything worked perfectly. So, uh, again, I just wanted to, to make this video to show you an update on this. Uh, for the most part, this antenna is now finished. Um, you know, any if there is any little stuff I do to this, I'm sure it's probably not going to be video worthy, but for the most part, this is finished. And just wanted to share that with you guys. So, uh, so just, uh, you know, I'll be putting this up live here uh, soon. Uh, of course, when you guys see it, it will be live. So. Uh, thanks again for watching. I also want to thank uh, all the subscribers uh, that are currently subscribed. In addition to uh, hopefully uh, getting some more subscribers from you viewers. Um, and you know, if you want to get updates on future videos, uh, it's not going to be just antennas. So I am going to kind of dabble in the realms of, of uh, other things that are ham radio and even uh, get into some of the Skywarn stuff. So. Uh, you know, if you want updates on videos when I get to those, you know, please subscribe and uh, you'll get those notifications. I also want to say thank you to all the people who have viewed uh, and have been watching my videos and hopefully, uh, you know, you guys keep on coming back and, and uh, you know, seeing what's going on here. So, thanks again and uh, I am going to be signing off. This is KD Zero, RVY.